We begin in Houston, where the Heat put their eight-game winning streak on the line, and the Rockets tried to snap a seven-game losing streak to the champs. There is LeBron James. 61 big ones on Monday in the blowout win over the Bobcats. Getting right back to work, but they trailed by five. And at the beginning, it looked like he was on his way to another 40, 50 point night, the way he was getting these easy buckets. And you can see the attention by on the Heat versus Dwight Howard. Mario Chalmers helps off of Patrick Beverly to double team Dwight, and then Dwight finds Beverly wide open. All right, all right, all right. Off to a good start for the Houston Rockets. Chandler Parsons. Coughs it up, heat in transition, and LeBron James is rolling. I mean, early, this was a 17-0 fast break advantage to the Miami Heat, and they were getting their easy buckets. Second half, a different story. Uh-oh, Bird, man, you can't go for the steal. Dwight Howard came in a game-time decision with a back injury. He had 22 points and 16 rebounds. D. Wade had 15 of his 24 in the first half. That was almost Smitty's under the rim, but he cleaned it up. Nice to have him in a back-to-back -back setting. They needed him tonight. How about that for under the rim, Smitty? Yes, indeed. Ding, 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 ding. We got a candidate. 21 points, 11 dimes for Harden. Houston led by two at halftime. LeBron James has it poked away by James Harden. Beverly to Parsons. Houston by eight. Nice finish. Happy Beverly with a lot of energy and a lot of impact in this game. And then it's Parsons to Harden to put the Rockets up 14. They led by as many as 15. Just a beautiful move in the open court. One versus two. He gets a layup out of what you thought would have been defensive stop for the Miami Heat. Dwayne Wade puts it in, part of a 21-7 Miami run, tying it at 93, just over six minutes to go. Now under three minutes to go. LeBron James guarded by Patrick Beverly, who leaks out and scores. He had 19, Rockets by nine. Now we take you under 30 seconds left. The Heat are going to find Michael Beasley, who makes it a three-point game. This is what they're hoping to get from him. Later on in the playoffs, he's getting warm. Had a big night tonight. He had 24 ensuing possession. James Harden throws it away looking for Dwight Howard. Now, come on, James Harden. You can't throw it away, but also you can't throw it in the vicinity of Dwight Howard because if he catches it, obviously the Heat were going to foul, and LeBron took one right across the jaw. But he would stay in the game, and it would come down to him against Dwight Howard. It's like an all-star game. Superman versus Batman. This one for the tie and <laughs> overtime, no. And Houston wins, 106-103. It's a wire-to-wire -wire win for the Rockets, who stop a seven-game losing streak to the Heat. Houston has won 12 of 14, improving to 41 and 19. The Heat fall to 43 and 15, as their eight-game winning streak is over. After getting hit in the face? I was, I was okay, yeah. It gave me a good elbow, but it was inadvertent, you know, but I was okay. When you said you felt fatigued in the second half, did that feel like that affected your shot a little bit? No, it didn't affect my shot. Um, I don't. I think I took seven. I took seven shots. I think I was one for seven, one for eight in the second half. Uh, you know, it just happens. One of those, one of those nights where you just, you know, your legs kind of give, and uh, you, know, you just try to rely on everyone else. This is the first time you've seen this Rockets team with Dwight Howard and James Harden paired together. What was just your overall impression? Very, very good offensive team. High-powered offensive team, and uh, you know it's the reason why they have uh, 41 wins in this uh, unbelievable league of ours. So LeBron James was unstoppable on Monday night, and we take a look at his first career high of 56 in 2005. He followed that up with 29. His encore following Monday's career high 61 was 22, and we're going to break that down now with Smitty and Rick Fox. So for LeBron, 19 to three, first half to second half in scoring and only had one rebound for the entire basketball game. What happened with LeBron on Tuesday? We'll give the Rockets a lot of credit. Chandler Parsons and team defense, um, they played pretty good. Also on their offense, they didn't turn the basketball over in that fourth quarter and second half. And then you know if you turn it over, that's an easy two points for the Miami Heat and nine times out of 10, that's LeBron James. Also, he wasn't aggressive enough, maybe getting to the free throw lane. A free throw line, maybe a little tired from that game. And yeah. Chandler Parsons also having a shot blocker by Dwight Howard back there. Kind of uh, have you thinking about whether you should drive it a lot or not. So give the Houston Rockets a lot of credit. And, but he still had some points for the, for the Miami Heat. I think he was really, as he said in that interview, really impressed with their offensive uh, effectiveness. Uh, very high powered as he gave it. But he also, also gave it away. He said it's pretty exhausted. His legs gave way and he had to rely on his teammates. Uh, he carried a heavy load without Dwayne Wade. Uh, the other night against the Bobcats, and so therefore didn't have much left in the second half tonight.